All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about whether or not we will have a sun in the future when we get the new Jerusalem. So I'm just going back to Isaiah 30, verse 26, where it says, Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of seven days. In the day that the Lord bindeth up the breach of his people and healeth the stroke of their wound. Now, I could do a whole video on just this alone, but let's just talk about the moon. The moon's going to be as bright as the sun, and the sun is going to be seven times brighter in the future. So some people think, we, Shane, we won't have a sun and a moon in the future because Jesus is going to be the light. God is going to light up the new Jerusalem and the whole earth. So there's no need for the moon or the sun. Really? Really? Well, let's go and check it out. Let's go to Revelation. I might talk about the new Jerusalem, the, the dimensions and all this kind of stuff. But let's just go. Let's stick with the subject here. That'll be another video. Uh, the, the city's light and glory. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. And the city had no need of the sun. So the city has no need of the sun. Neither of the moon to shine in it, in the city. For the glory of, the, of God did lighten it. And the Lamb is the light there of and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it new jerusalem into new jerusalem and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day for there shall be no night there so I know I have to enunciate a lot in this one because um, some people just glance over this real quick and go, oh, see, there's no need for the, the sun or the moon at all on earth. And that's not what it says. Now, there is going to be a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea can make a whole new video on that some people think heaven disappeared and earth disappeared but that's not what it says it says that first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea so to me this means instead of disappearing or dissolving or whatever that this is just a new a new, a new way of doing things a new heaven a new earth a new structure, if you will. All right, so that's what I think. I think the sun and the moon is still going to be around. It's just the sun is going to be seven times brighter, and the moon is going to be as bright as the sun as what it is today. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Feel free to subscribe. Um, let me know. Do you want to see a video about... The measurements, I, I think the city is most likely a pyramid. And uh, if we're talking about this, the city lies four square and the length is as large as the breadth. And the, and he measured the city, the entire city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. So the surface area of the city is 12,000 furlongs. So the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. So... There is a formula here that John gives us to be able to figure out the distance of the city and all this kind of stuff according to furlongs. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. And again, this is found in Revelation 21. Bye for now.